and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Belmar Duke. Belmar Duck? Belmar Duke. I'm gonna go with Duke. He is actually ranked 100th in his silver division. I must have been doing really bad that day. Uh, he's got no points with a record of 3-3. Three and three. I assume that I was his only game outside of placement. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as... That, that is not me. Belmarduke has spawned as the Red Terran in the Southeast. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest. So it's DVT on Jungle Base. And I, I play on this map probably more than any other map now. What the hell? That is the laziest comeback I have ever seen. I say good luck, have fun, and he gives me an equal sign. I don't know if he was going for a smiley face, never got around to the D or the parentheses, but what he basically said was ditto with an equals mark. Just, just equals. Don't know what that was, but that is what he gave me. He is going for the block off early on, it looks like, because a supply depot is going out. I never would like to put my supply depot out there first. He probably got his out a little bit later than mine. Not much. No, exactly same time. But I don't like to do that because I assume that that SUV could have gotten one more mineral patch in. You know, five more minerals before I moved all the way out there. And Plus, this is TVT, man. You don't need... You don't need to block off here. And here he scouts. Um, it looks like he's not even familiar with this map. Wow. Barracks is going up to, yeah, once again, almost complete the block off. Haven't seen a block off like this in a long time. And continuing to make SCVs making the refinery. He is not getting his refinery. Looks like his barracks is about a second behind mine. Uh, but my refinery is up and his is not even started yet. And what is this? A barracks inside my base. Did he not think I was going to spot that? Luckily, since I follow Bubba's advice, Bubba, I love you, Bubba. You won this game for me, maybe. If, but you definitely spotted this for me, thanks to y your advice, and then I built a supply depot around the base. I'm able to go, dude, seriously? A proxy barracks. A proxy barracks. Inside my base. So, the three SCVs were able to finish off that SC <laughs> the SCV building the barracks. He is forced to cancel it. This command center is being morphed into an orbital command. I should be getting... a reactor there it goes getting a uh, barracks up as well as a little bit behind but holy crap proxy barracks inside my base scv on route to go in my base apparently he really wants that proxy barracks so he's getting a second barracks inside his base for a change and oh good lord two refineries going up at the same time he still doesn't have any gas whatsoever oral command is just now finished looks like mine was up a little bit before that though and not saturating either one yet awesome and SEV went all the way out there didn't do anything and then came, had to go all the way back apparently they are patrolling out there I don't know what's going on with that but the two, uh, maybe he was thinking about going for a proxy bunker and then decided against it. He scans and he's going to be able to see the tech lab going down on my second barracks. Third barracks is almost done. Tech lab going down on that one as well. If he had been watching my videos, he would know what I'm going for. But he doesn't uh, because he's still new. So, meh. He stopped producing SUVs, it looks like. Uh, what is he in? Yeah, I'm too ahead of him right now, so he hasn't been producing SUVs for quite some time. But is he producing? Just one Marine, and now a third barracks. And, oh, he's going into a factory. Oh, now he's getting an SUV. Mule's out as well. So this is this was definitely an interesting game, I thought. 
because of the proxy barracks, but now looking back, I'm kind of like, eh, this guy was kind of a noob. But what are you going to do? You know, we all started somewhere. If you watch my early videos, especially 1 through 5, oh, man, I was bad. Just, just bad. Engineering Bay is going up as well for me because I like Engineering Bays. Concussive Shells is finished. I am actually not going to be getting the Combat Shield through uh, the Tech Lab yet. I am actually going to be going for the Weapons Level 1 upgrade. Do it. Come on, do it. There we go. I have to talk myself into these kinds of things sometimes. He is going for the Nitro Packs upgrade. Are we going to be seeing Reapers? Seriously, man? Reapers? Whatever. So he's got three barracks, all with tech labs up. He is going for a starport because that factory did finish. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to get the Nitro Packs. Bunker is going up as well. And three supply depots blocking... Uh, don't do that. Just don't. There's no good reason to do that. Now I'm walking by here, and this Marine is going to be able to get pot shots off, but I don't really care. Whatever, man. These guys are 0-0 zero, zero still. But that... Uh, nope, it's a long ways away. Reapers are on route, along with siege mode. But no siege tanks. So I'm moving up, and I see the supply depot, I take one of them out, I focus that down, then I'm focusing down on this bunker, and that goes down, so, and then I'm trying to get those marines, and now I'm trying to get the other bunker, which it looks like he salvaged, oh man, he's got so many minerals, um, and three reapers looks like are going to be going into my base. I still have uh, reinforcements here. That is why I do keep reinforcements there because I never know when he's going to go for some kind of proxy attack here, Some, especially against Protoss players. But um, yeah, see, look, I, I tried to move him out to, to reinforce and I'm going, really, man? Reapers? Fine. So I move all my NCDs away. I have enough to start another command center here. I'm not going to do it right now, though. So I move these guys back in, and I'm like, fine, I'll take out your freaking Reapers. So, and sending in a couple more reinforcements, but really, he's he stopped producing altogether. Because he supply locked, because he put all three of his supply depots there. And he's forced to leave the game, and this SCV is very upset at that Reaper. <laughs> he's been attacking him pretty much down to 21 health, maybe a little bit of that was done elsewhere. Oh, it looks like he was going to try to be even douchier than I thought he was. Bunker inside his base. Three more Reapers are finished, but, you know, I don't really care. I really don't. You know, I could lift any one of these off, and then we c we can do the same thing, man. We can we can hide our, our orbital commands in the corner. I wouldn't pick up an orbital command, to be honest with you. I'd probably pick up one of my barracks and then just build another one on the add-on or something like that. But man, uh, this was this game actually called Scared into Reapers, but he actually got the Reapers beforehand, so I didn't really scare him into it. But uh, the proxy barracks, I forgot about that. So thank you, Bubba. You, I gave it away, but you guys probably would have guessed that I had won this game because I was placing f facing a guy that was uh, ranked 100th in silver. So I hope you guys assumed that I would win that game, and I did. Uh, so a few lessons learned. Uh, mostly from his side. Don't, don't go for the proxy barracks inside the base. Um, go over here. Where here is where you want to go to build the proxy barracks because most people uh, won't be getting that command center before you finish the barracks. That's that's my thoughts about it. And then if they're going for the fast command center, the fast expansion for whatever race they are, they're probably not going to have enough army to take out your barracks if they are going for the fast expansion and are able to spot that early. All these SUVs, I, I, I hate seeing SUVs just bunched up there, but that is because of these Reapers. There are only two of them left now inside my base. But yeah, then no supply depots here. It will force you to stop building. 
And I think once he figured out that he couldn't build anymore, that was why he left the game. So I hope you guys laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.